Application of stair light controller. Skyden stair light controller set includes a controller, two pieces of PR sensors, two pieces of 5 meters extension wires, and one piece of daylight sensor. Please prepare constant voltage LED strips, SPI LED strips, and LED drivers for installation. The controller is able to connect up to 32 pieces of constant voltage single color LED strips. Maximum load current of each LED strip is 1 amp. It's also able to connect two pieces of RGB SPI LED strips within 960 pixels. White Step Mode Installation First, connect the LED strips to the corresponding terminals of the controller with extension wires. The first step connects to terminal 01, and so on. Copper wire no thinner than 0.5 square millimeters is recommended for extension, and the length should not exceed 10 meters. Select an LED driver with output voltage consists with the LED strips, 80% of driver power greater than the total power of LED strips. Driver output connects with controller input. Long press M key for 2 seconds. Press left or right direction key to switch the work mode to white step, then long press M key or wait 15 seconds to enter white step interface. Short press M key to switch current parameter type. Press left or right direction key to select the appropriate value. Step can be set within Aether 32. Mode contains four kinds of light running effect. Eight grades of brightness and speed. After power on, we can long press M and left direction key to test down direction induction light. Or long press M and right direction key to test up direction induction light. Make sure the lights are running properly. Then, install the up direction sensor to up PI input on the top left of the controller. Install the down direction sensor to DWPR input on the bottom right. Lux DET input on the top right of the controller connects with the daylight sensor. Long press M key for 2 seconds. Let's get to the fourth Rolux set. The number following asterisk is the current ambient brightness value detected by the sensor. Set the value before asterisk. For example, set to 100. When the detected ambient brightness value is over 100, the lights won't be turned on. Set to off to turn this function off. Color flow mode installation. The terminals on the left of the controller output to groups of RGB SPI signals. This mode is mostly for corridors or stair rails. Choose from 5 volts, 12 volts or 24 volts RGB SPR LED strips. The IC type must conform to any of the items in the list. First, connect DAT signal wire of the SPI LED strip to DA terminal of the controller. Connect CLK signal wire to CLK terminal, skip this step if there's no CLK signal wire. Connect GND wire to GND terminal. The SPI LED strips need to be powered by an LED driver. Select an LED driver with output voltage consists with the LED strips, 80% of driver power greater than the total power of LED strips. Positive pole and GND of the LED strip connect to positive and negative poles of the driver respectively. Long press M key for 2 seconds. Switch the work mode to color flow. Chip refers to the IC type. Please refer to this list for selection. Following the chip is RGB order. DEF RGB is to set RGB color using the hexadecimal color code. The color set corresponds to mode 12. Then long press M key or wait 15 seconds to enter color flow interface. Press M key to switch current parameter type. Dot is the number of IC, which can be set within the range 32 to 960. Mode contains 12 kinds of light running effect. 8 grades of brightness and speed. Get the parameters set appropriately. For wiring installation, please refer to white step mode installation.
Step Plus Flow Mode Installation. Long press M key for 2 seconds. Switch the work mode to Step Plus Flow. Please refer to White Step and Color Flow Mode for the parameter setting and wiring installation way. If the voltage of the LED strip and the SPI LED strip is inconsistent, another LED driver with the same voltage as the latter is needed to power it. Set the dot number to double the number of steps. The light of the constant voltage LED strip and the SPI LED strip will run more synchronously. For example, the number of steps is 16. Set the dot number to 32. The number of IC mounting on the SBR LED strip should be equal to or slightly less than 32. This work mode has 12 kinds of light running effect. 8 grades of speed optional. Note, the brightness of the constant voltage LED strips can only be set in white step mode, and the brightness of the SPI LED strips can only be set in color flow mode. Color step mode installation. This work mode integrates the SPI LED strips running effects into the stairs. Long press M key for 2 seconds. Switch the work mode to color step. The setting range of step in this mode is 8 to 160. The setting range of dot is 2 to 120 per step. Multiply step number by dot number of each step must be less than or equal to 960. For example, there are 10 steps. The number of IC per step is 3 pieces. Therefore, set the step to 10 and the dot to 3. Then connect the SPI LED strips in series by extension wires as per the SPI signal transmission direction. For other wiring installation methods, please refer to color flow mode installation. This work mode has 12 kinds of light running effect. 8 grades of speed optional. In addition, the brightness of the LED strips can only be set in color flow mode. Matters need attention. 1. Whether the lights are turned off synchronously or one by one after running can be set in system parameters interface of white step mode. Set off way in the second row. 2. Controller inductive signal is PNP, that is, when the sensor has a trigger signal, it is at high potential. Sensor operating voltage is 5 volts, the inductive signal is 3.3 volts. Face to the sensor socket, on the left is positive pole, in the middle is signal, on the right is negative pole. If other types of sensors are used, the working current should not exceed 10 mA. The sensor has three pieces of wires. If you need extra extension wire, make sure to distinguish the positive and negative poles so as to avoid wiring errors. 3. Please check and make sure there is no short circuit risk before powering on.